I want to talk about Bad Vegan. This is a series on Netflix, and I'm just going to come right out the gate and say this. Sarma, whatever her surname is, is no freaking victim. There, I said it. I found it very difficult to watch this, this documentary, and not because it wasn't a good documentary, because it was very well edited, very engaging. I mean, Netflix is killing the game with these swindler-type documentaries. But... I found it difficult to watch because I found her annoying and I couldn't put my finger on why I found her annoying. And initially my initial stance was I'm not going to victim blame. You know, a con artist is an artist. These people are very good at identifying their victims at identifying their, their weaknesses. They're very good at worming their way into people's lives and they have a trail of victims behind them as evidence of their craft, right? As evidence of how good they are at their craft. But Watching and listening to Sarma, she was vacant. Even in the documentary, it just feels like she's not all the way there. She's very vacant in the way she speaks, in her demeanor. I don't know if it's some unresolved trauma from the issue. I, I don't know if it's fear. I don't know if she just has a very reserved personality. But she was very vacant in the way that she spoke. Okay, so I know that in this day and age, we are very careful about victim blaming. And as a woman, I take that very seriously. I'm always very careful that I don't victim blame. And here's the thing about Sarma. I do believe that she was the victim of abuse. I don't know if the abuse was physical, but certainly based on the conversations they had that she recorded, there was a lot of mental and um, verbal abuse, mental abuse, and emotional abuse. I believe that indeed she was a battered woman. And maybe that contributes to some of the decision making that she did, some of the bad decision making that she, she executed. However, I don't believe that there is no room for her to take accountability for what she did. Number one, she participated in helping uh, defraud investors and she knowingly defrauded them, compromised the livelihood of her staff members by not paying them. You are screwing with people's lives. People could get kicked out of their homes. They have families to feed. They've got school fees to pay. They've got groceries to buy. If you don't pay people for the work that they do, you completely compromise their ability to maintain a stable and secure like life. I get so annoyed when we are encouraged to believe a woman and side with a woman because she's a woman and because she's been victimized. There is still room for this woman to take accountability for defrauding investors and stealing from her own business and, I, and stealing from her staff members. Um, the closest she came to being accountable, the closest she came to acknowledging her participation was when they were on the run in Vegas and she said, you know, nobody tied me down, nobody, I wasn't locked up, I could have left and run away at any time, but I didn't. That's the closest she got to acknowledging her participation. The rest of the time, her answer was, I don't know. I don't know why we left. I don't know why I was in Rome. I don't know why we were in Vegas. I, it didn't seem like we were on the run. Like, girl, bye. You know, she's definitely trying to save her own ass right now. Um, I see an intelligent woman who maybe was overwhelmed with life's responsibilities, was looking for a savior, none of which is a crime. It's unfortunate, but it's not a crime. Was looking for a savior, abdicated the responsibilities of her life to a psycho, and allowed him to wreak havoc not only in her life but in the lives of her staff members and for that she needs to hold herself accountable and i just didn't get her doing that in this documentary um she also put her family through a roller coaster and i i just it's just mm, yeah so it's, it's a really good documentary but it just makes you wonder about the psychology of such an accomplished woman finding herself in a situation like that I guess to understand it, you would have to also look into like battered woman syndrome, why people in abusive relationships don't leave, would probably speak to why she didn't leave this crazy world that she found herself in with this Anthony character. But um, yeah, man, this wasn't like an organized review. I just wanted to share my thoughts on this show, Bad Vegan. Um, I read a couple of reviews on the show as well, and I agreed with so many of them. And um, yeah, Sarma, girl, I, I think you need to be held accountable for real.